<laughs> What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. I'm Ed. And I'm Kat. And we are The, the Roos React. React. And we've got another comedy reaction for you today. But before we get to that, we just wanted to say... A big thanks for everybody who's liked, commented, suggested and subscribed. Thanks guys, we appreciate you. <laughs> now, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are reacting to... Best of Anthony Jeselnik. It's been requested by a lot of people, so we're gonna get into it. I haven't seen anything of this person. I don't know who this is. Wait a minute. Who are you? Um, yeah. But looks like he's got a special on Netflix, so somebody likes him. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get into it. So when I was in high school, my high school employed a blind janitor. 100% <laughs> totally blind. Okay. And all the other kids would joke around that he went blind for masturbating too much. <laughs> and at the time, I believed that. I was just a kid, I didn't know any better. It wasn't until I got older, wiser, I realized that's just an old wives' tale they used to use to try to explain why he was always masturbating. <laughs> I, uh, oh. I, of course, live in Los Angeles. I've got a nice place, yeah. obviously. <laughs> My brother's been staying with me for a couple of weeks now, which has been awful. My brother's crazy. Even my neighbors hate him. The other day I opened up the door, I caught him masturbating. He looks me right in the eyes and goes, shut the door. <laughs> I said, get inside. <laughs> My family loves it when I put them in jokes. They love it. They'll be like, Anthony, please put me in your next joke. And I'll say, are you sure? Because I'm going to make you a pedophile. <laughs> and they're like, we don't care. We shouldn't be a part of this thing you've got going on. So I wrote that joke, put my brother in. I'm in Chicago, where he lives, doing a show. After the show, he comes backstage and I say, Mikey, what'd you think about that new joke, Joe? Like the shout out I gave you? <laughs> And he gets all uncomfortable. He goes, well, crowd seemed to think it was funny. But I think it's kind of weird that you've got a joke where you want to fuck me. <laughs> and I said, what, Mikey? No. No, Mikey, you're my brother. That's a joke about you masturbating in front of my house. And he goes, yeah. And then you're like, Get back inside. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just in case you guys are wondering whether or not my brother's a fucking idiot. <laughs> my, my grandmother is suffering from dementia right now. Uh, she forgets who she is, wanders out of the house and gets lost for hours. It's a problem. Uh, so what I did is I tied a bell around her neck. <laughs> Sounds inhumane, sure, but problem solved. I mean, that thing is really heavy. <laughs> if you're not laughing right now, the problem is your imagination. <laughs> don't get mad at me because you don't know how big bells can get. <laughs> Man, my parents are strict. Mom and dad were strict. My mom and dad once made me smoke an entire pack of cigarettes. An entire pack of cigarettes in one sitting. Oh. Just to teach me an important lesson about brand loyalty. <laughs> yeah, I learned a lot from my parents, especially my dad. Like, I'll never forget the first time I ever got a bad report card in school. First time I got a bad report card in school, I brought it home, I gave it to my dad, and my dad beat me. Beat the hell out of me. But I learned something. 
because the next time I got a bad report card in school, I brought it home and I gave it to my mom. <laughs> Let her take the hit. <laughs> People ask me, what was it like? What was it like to take your friend to get her abortion? It was boring. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be fun and exciting. <laughs> but trust me, the only person more disappointed than me that day was the baby, right? <laughs> it was so boring. It was just me by myself for two and a half hours in an abortion clinic waiting room, bored out of my mind. I don't know if you've ever been to an abortion clinic waiting room before, but the magazines are not great. <laughs> the whole place is filled with kids for some reason. I mean, I thought they were kids. Turns out they were just ghosts. <laughs> I don't own a gun. I'm against guns, to be honest. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, my parents had a gun. My parents said we had to have a gun. Gotta have a gun to protect the five children. Gotta have a gun to protect our five children. Of course, they eventually got rid of it to protect their four children. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I was getting pretty good towards the end. You got real good. <laughs> this is who I'm making fun of when I make a joke on Twitter the day of a tragedy. The people who see something horrible happen in the world and they run to the internet and they run to their social media, their Facebook, their Twitter, whatever they got, and they all write down the exact same thing. My thoughts and prayers. <laughs> My thoughts and prayers with the people in Aurora. My thoughts and prayers with the families in Boston. Do you know what that's worth? Fucking nothing. <laughs> Fucking less than nothing. Less than nothing. You are not giving any of your time, your money, or even your compassion. All you are doing, all you are doing is saying, don't forget about me today. <laughs> don't forget about me. Lots of crazy distractions in the news right now, but don't forget how sad I am. <laughs> Those people are worthless and they deserve to be made fun of. They're like a wedding photographer who only takes selfies. <laughs> That's a great analogy. <laughs> yes. Good on you, Anthony. He is dry as fuck. Dry humor, isn't he? Really? Drier than a nun's. No, he was good though. No, I enjoyed it. I loved his delivery. I gotta say though, that one switched obviously between two different. Two things, one beard, one and without. I, no, one I beard, know, I was like, without. it's the same guy, right? Beards make you look strong. But even the way he was actually holding the mic and the two different, sorry, I'm talking about the way he's holding a mic. But... That's all right. One it up. Was it like, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I no, was... one he was like holding it like this and the other one he was like kind of like. What, the one with his beard? Was like that holding it like this. And then big. before it was like this. Like I felt like it was just two We're different people. We're doing props now. Maybe yeah. she's born with it. Um, yeah, well, obviously the one with the beard, he was later, like he's, you, think? you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell by the quality of it. No, too. it was good. Uh, the, the visual quality. No, he was good. I like the way he told the joke. I don't, is there like a technique? In, of course there's techniques in which you tell jokes, but do they have names? Anyway, I like the way he delivered his.
He was very dry. Dry was very. Dry. I, I got it right. I got it right. Yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that was good. Well, yeah, that was um. Anthony Jeselnik, the best of. So thanks for that suggestion. We can tick that one off the list, the ever growing list. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was great. So he's good. If there's more out there, suggest the specific clips, and we'll have a little look see at them. Um, but. I haven't got anything else to say. That's it. Thanks. That's great. That's great. I'm Ed. And I'm Kat. And we are the Riz React. See you next time. Bye. Yeah.